Hi to my new video. In the previous video I've talked about installing Yarbridge. How do you install it in Arch Linux? It is really easy. And also how do you install it in all other Linux distros. It was a bit more tricky, but it was possible. Now in this video, I'm going to work with bottles and with Yarbridge in order to install VST plugins and then channel them through Yarbridge so that you can add them to the Yarbridge list. These are certain commands that I'm going to show and explain to you and yeah. What is Yarbridge? Yarbridge is a bridging device which is um, dependent on the Wine program Wine, you know, run the Windows programs inside Linux, and through Yarbridge you are able to run Windows audio plugins, VST, .vst3, .vst2, .clap, etc. files inside a Linux store, Linux Reaper, Linux Bitwig, Linux FL Studio, F or you no know, FL Studio itself runs on through Wine. I don't, yeah, it doesn't really matter. I personally only use Reaper, but you know. How the setup is for other distros uh, is depending. Now, first things first, what we need to do is we need to first of all install the audio plugins in, in general, and they are stored in us usually they are in the. Uh, yeah, I will just show you the directives in which the files are typically st um, stored in. And in order to work with Yarbridge, you're going to w um, utilize certain commands. First of all, it is in Yarbridge add, to which you add the directive in which the Windows audio plugins are located into. Then you use Yarbridge list to list up all the directives you have added into Yarbridge. And then Yarbridge sync in order to you know, synchronize all the plugins so that then in the future setups, your DAW can access these audio plugins and work with them. I mean, you can also remove directives, etc. But yeah. In the previous video, I've talked about how to install Yarbridge CTL on Arch, but also other distros. And now I will show you how to use it. But at first, we need to install the Windows plugins from which we can root Yarbridge files into Reaper. It sounds complicated, just let me do it. First things first. First things first, we need to enable flat packs. Flatpacks.org, get set up. Then, whichever uh, distro you are using, I'm using Endeavor S. And then, just copy, paste everything in. Then what we need to do, go to FlatHub and we need two apps, FlatSeal and Spotless. I've already made a tutorial about you know what FlatSeal does, what Flatpacks are, what Bottles does, so in the description you can find these. But now just copy this text and paste it in here. Then the same thing with bottles, drop down, copy paste it. Then open files, go to personal folder, right click create new, we'll just create this folder here, bottles. menu, search for bottles, so continue, it does its first setups with bottles, 
drop the menu, settings, bottles directive, the bottles folder we have created earlier, click on here, ok, relaunch, then, then open bottles again, settings, runner, coffee, Coffee 9.7 Be specific Voila. Now let's create a bottle I just call it VSTs Custom Change from soda to coffee The best we can leave Now we've created the bottle, go to settings, expanded window settings, I'm working on a 4K monitor, no, I'm gonna yeah, adjust the size, all the steps I've made videos about it, so if you're confused about any of them in the description or in the playlist you can find them. So, you can start dependencies, but yeah. This is not what this video is going to be about. As you can see, let's open files again. Mm -hmm. Virtual box is glitching around, wonderful. Bottles, the container we have created inside, drive C. And now it looks exactly like how it would look like in Windows. How is this useful to us? I will show you, but before that, go to flat seal. Then inside a flat sale go to bottles, file system, file system host, all system data, enable this one, then we can move on. So here I have you know, some VST plugins prepared. And what I'm just going to do, right click, open with bottles. Here's the, the container I want to utilize. And voila, now I can install Windows plugins via this. Free bundle. And voila. Yeah, then you install all the other plugins obviously the same way. Now I've installed all these plugins. Now here, go to personal folder, bottles, BSTs, drive C, and here program files for example, BST plugins, the folder VSTs, VST plugins that was created, etc. And now let's just go in here, mainline production for example, and this is where it is. DLL, VST, .vst3, etc. files are being located in. Normally in Reaper, you would just go, yeah, scan these folders, check this out, and then Reaper would find these plugins. But since we are in Linux, it's not that simple right now. But how do we bypass this? Through Yarbridge. In a previous video, as I said previously, I've shown you how to install it, etc. And now, yeah, bridge, CTL, sync, for example. Now we just go into the folder, personal folder, bottles folder, the container we have created, drive C, and here we are, uh, how it would look like in Windows. Program files, now for example VST plugins, etc. Now how do we work with this? Go into VST plugins, on top of here, double click, copy the path, and yeah. Bridge CTL at exclamation mark. Copy the path. Exclamation mark again. Now, yeah, bridge CTL list. Then 
then we add some more. Steinberg, for example. Same process. Yeah, bridge CTL add exclamation mark, copy the path, exclamation mark again. And we do this with all common files. BST3. Clap files, of course. So now press clear. Yeah, bridge CTL list. Now these are all the directives we have added to Yarbridge. Now, first things first, what we need to do. I'm just going to install Reaper. I mean, I'm going to make another video about how to install Reaper on different distros. This is not what this video is going to be about. So now, I'm just going to start up Reaper. What I would highly recommend for you to do, go into VSTs, Edit Path, Add Path, Control H or Steuerung H. Okay. Go into the go into the root directive and user and select it entirely. Because not not just in this video but in other videos we were going to install audio plugins into this directive. So Reaper has easy access to this. VST plugins, Linux VST plugins in user. But this is not what this video is going to be about. Now, as you can see, we open the VST plugins. So, a little bit bigger. As you can see, here are the VST plugins. But the Windows VST plugins we've installed earlier are not available to us, even though we've added them into Yarbridge. Why is this the case? Simple. Now uh, they are listed in Yarbridge, but they are not synchronized. So what we need to do? Yeah, bridge CTL sync. Okay, while mono install it. Yes, we're going to do this. After it's done synchronizing, then we reopen Reaper. And yeah, the only plugins in the system installed right here are Windows VST plugins, but yeah, it's going to take some time. And also going through the user folders. So now we are in Reaper. After the syncing process, open FX, new. like frequency shifter which one to take this here is the windows plugin running for garbage wine inside linux reaper thanks for watching this video keep working because there's still much to zoro and go read berserk